welcome to this video tutorial. This one is all about short exam questions. Um, I'm basing it on paper one from 2017 and we're going to have a look at the four mark and the six mark question from that paper. But firstly I would just start off by outlining um, what the four and the six markers are. So, both on the education paper, paper one, and on the crime paper, paper three, there are two short questions. They are a four mark and a six mark question. So, these questions ask you to outline um, either two things or three things. And these could be factors, features, reasons, causes, effects, functions, ways, problems, advantages, disadvantages, criticisms, um, really, really broad um, so it's a really good idea to familiarise yourself with them and practice as many as you can. So for example, you could be asked to outline three functions that the education system might perform. And the tip is with these types of questions, um, your answer should be quite short, concise. For each point that you're asked for, one or two sentences will be enough. Um, I would start each new point on a separate line um, psychologically for the people that are marking it. They'll be able to see you've clearly given f f um, two points for the four marker or you've clearly given three points for the six marker. And also psychologically for you, you know that you've covered everything as well. Um, another point that you might not be aware of that is that if you're not sure if all your points are right or you're a bit uncertain, you can give an additional one and the examiner will mark the three or the two that are correct. Okay, so um, it's always a good idea to do this. Now, I won't get in the habit of doing loads of these because that means that you're writing longer on these questions and that will take your time away from the 10 marker, um, the 30 marker and the 20 markers, which are on both paper one and paper three. Okay, so think about your timing. Um, for these questions, a four mark and a six mark, total of 10 marks, a minute and a half per mark, and that is 15 minutes. I would predict that the majority of students should be able to answer these in less than that, and that will just leave you a little bit more time to plan for the extended writing on the 10 and the 30 and the 20 markers that are on these papers. So let's have a little bit of a look at the first four marker that was on the 2017 paper. So this one was asking you to outline two cultural factors that may affect ethnic differences in the educational achievements. And this question has got three hooks and I want you to get used to um, reading the question and looking for these hooks. So the first one is the cultural factors. Um, now these are not to be confused with other home factors such as material um, background uh, material factors or even in school factors. Okay, um, the most common ones, the most common cultural factors that students did write about tend to be parental attitudes or language barriers. Okay, so that's the first hook. The second hook is ethnic differences. Um, I would suggest that you be quite specific. Um, so state, are you talking about Asian? Are you talking about African Caribbean um, students? Um, be, like I said, be specific because if you're not, sometimes your answers might border on um, class differences. Um, so you, you do need to make sure that you are addressing um, directly the question that's being asked. And the third hook is educational achievements. Again, be specific again. So state, are they high achievers or are they going to fail because of it? So let's have a little bit of a look at the mark scheme. Um, so as you can see, um, you can see that language was one of the common ones. Now here, they are indicating that this is clearly different from speaking in the restricted code, which some people did start to write, um, that some students will have, but that is very much um, class as well. Um, so if you did indicated that speaking in the restricted code because English isn't your first language, that would have scored you the marks. And that means that they will have difficulty in understanding the classwork, which is implying that they're not going to achieve. OK, you've got others, parental attitudes, and you've got some examples. Um, so going the other way, high achievers, Indian and Chinese pro school. Um, pupil subcultures was another one. Um, so pupil subcultures, so African Caribbean um, tend to, to be um, anti-school. Um, 
peer pressure leading them to reject school. Um, likewise, parental attitudes with black students as well. Um, so may may have an MTV culture, lack of um, father figure, lack of role model, meaning that they don't achieve. That also scored as well. Um, as likewise, your ethnocentric curriculum, um, that is the school curriculum reflects the dominant culture and this benefits the white students. Okay, so um, this indication of cultural superiority, which is giving um, ethnic minority students such as um, Bangladesh or African Caribbean um, some sort of disadvantage, um, would have scored your marks as well. Um, just a little bit about the examiner comments. Um, most students answered this question quite successfully. They were e able to identify two clear cultural factors and like I said the common responses were the family structure, your language, parental attitudes. Um, what they have mentioned here is that some of the responses did li didn't link to a particular ethnic group um, so that meant that they often overlapped with class and that meant that they ended up um, not scoring or they only got partial marks for the identification points not for the application to the ethnic group points. Okay, um, so just to review, that is the four mark question. Um, like I said, make sure that you are starting each new point on a new line and you are clearly identifying the three hooks from the question, the cultural, the ethnic group and the achievement level. The other question that was on this 2017 paper was outlined three ways in which factors within schools may shape gender differences in subject choice. And once again, just make sure that you are um, referring to the different hooks in your answer. So the hooks here were the factors which were within school and factors could be things like um, significant people, so teachers, pupils, um, peers, um, also classrooms or lessons and even resources. These are all different factors within the schools. Um, then you've got the gender difference hook. So indicate are you talking about boys, are you talking about girls? And then lastly the subject choice. Which subjects are they attracted to or even put off? Okay so just double check that you are referring to each of those hooks in each of the points that you are making. So let's have a gander at the um, the mark scheme. So the most popular one, which appeared majority of the time, especially when I was marking, was the peer group pressure one. So um, girls feared um, looking butch or they were called gay um, for choosing um, subjects like PE, for example. So you've got the peer group pressure and you've got the indication of girls and that they're failing to choose certain subjects such as PE um, that ticks all the boxes and that got awarded the two marks. Likewise, you've got your career advice from other significant others such as um, careers advisors or teachers. Um, subject counselling, again, teachers um, channeling boys and girls into different subjects, um, learning resources and the gender of teachers also attract or discourage certain students and just make sure that you are linking to male females um, and whether they are attracted or put off that subject. Now what students did do on this one is that often they um, had more than one of the bullet points in each of their answers if that makes sense. So a student might say um, science is typically seen as a male subject because of the male teacher and of the resources. Okay, now sometimes that won't have got full four marks, but they might have got three marks because they've got two um, bullet points, gender of the teachers and the learning resources, but they've only really explained it um, once. Okay, even in one bullet point or one, one point that they've made. If that makes sense. Okay, so make sure that you are explaining each one fully as you can to be awarded the full marks. So likewise at the examiner, again this was dealt with really effectively. Most students were able to identify and explain at least two factors. Um, common successful responses with the coursework, the peer group like I've just said, peer group pressure and textbooks having gender stereotypes and the gender with the teachers, male teachers, science. Um, males also dominating um, classroom resources in science puts girls off for example. 
Um, the majority were able to go on and explain them and how it influenced their subject choice. Um, where marks were not awarded was the result of overlapping factors being presented. Um, so like I said, they, they might have dropped a mark because some of the factors overlapped. Other incorrect responses discussed external socialisation or career expectations from the home background without linking these to the internal factors. Okay, so just to summarise, this short video tutorial has been about a four mark and a six mark, looking at the hooks in the question and also being specific to the ones from the 2017 paper. Okay, um, so thank you for watching. Um, any comments or any questions that you would like me to look at, please put in the comments below. Um, and um, I hope to, I hope you join me again soon. Okay, thank you.